task for critical thinking anarchist here. All right. So once again, a celebrity has done what you should never do. Um, and this one is someone who has, well, basically she's been around as a result of freedom of speech and expression. Um, and in fact, fair use for that matter. Uh, this one is Elvira, also known as Cassandra Peterson in her real life. She tweeted out, I stand with musicians and artists, not with quacks and hacks. This cause is close to my heart. Please sign and introduced a petition to remove Joe Rogan from Spotify. Now, I'm all for anyone, you know, saying what they believe. If she wants to, if she doesn't believe in Joe Rogan's podcast, that's fine. You know, so no sweat off my back. But wanting to remove somebody from a platform is ridiculous. And then, of course, she goes on to say, regarding fans, haha, who are leaving me because they prefer disinformation over the truth, all I can say is it's time to clean house and separate the class from the trash. Bye bye. The people who call this censorship would it be okay if I had a podcast inviting experts to encourage people to drive drunk. If I crash and kill myself, big deal. It's my problem. How about the people that you kill or injure in the other car? Do they matter to you at all? Or do they matter at all to you? Now, I'll say this. Television, especially, you know, radio has done this a, an okay amount, but television especially has multiple times, like thousands of times, over the last several decades had people on who were, you know, murderers. They, and they were doing interviews and documentaries, and, you know, they're murderers, and they're child molesters, and they're whatever. I mean, half of Hollywood is that, basically. So the fact that you have Joe Rogan, who is honestly interviewing people and letting them share their side, why is that an issue? They're not advocating people kill themselves. They're not advocating this. He's simply giving them the opportunity to state their side. That's it. Sometimes he agrees. Sometimes he disagrees. But he's not advocating that people go and kill themselves. He's not advocating that people go and do things. All he's advocating is that people have a chance to listen to both sides of a story, or multiple sides of a story, and make their own decisions on how they deal with that information. That's really what's happening here. What Elvira is doing, though, is advocating for deplatforming Joe Rogan. And even worse than that, she is trashing her fans as a result. Uh, literally, in the next tweet, she says... Regarding fans who are leaving me because they prefer disinformation over the truth, all I can say is it's time to clean house and separate the class from the trash. Bye bye. And she goes on to clarify her position trash equals people who were never fans to begin with and who have come to attack for the sake of attack. Now, me, along with many others, this is obviously not my account um, there, Horror Amarata, states. What about those of us who have been fans literally since we were children and merely disagree with you? Because we do exist. Would you engage us in an honest conversation about our differences? Or should we be tossed aside as well? Or would that be misinformation to you? And that is an honest thing. You know, that's serious. Like, why are you lumping everybody in who disagrees with you as simply trash? That's not right. That's not what's going on here. You know, and, and she thinks she's having a conversation, but she's not. And then the next one, of course, she goes, Why is it that when you spark a debate with others who don't agree with you, their immediate response is to attack your looks, your age, your career, etc., particularly the men? Totally off the prompt. It says everything I need to know about them. It's all they've got. No, it didn't spark a debate. You very clearly drew a line in the sand and said, This is my position, and if you're on the other side of it, get the fuck off. That's what you said. You are. You told your fans they are trash. You told fans who disagreed with you that they are trash. You told fans who disagreed, not even, not even necessarily disagreed with you, but disagreed with you wanting to remove Joe Rogan from his platform as trash. That is the problem. This is what I'm saying. This is the same thing with Frost. You don't attack your fans. You want to attack Joe Rogan, attack Joe Rogan. Fine. Say you disagree with him. Say you don't like the fact that he's having people on that are doing this stuff. But don't sit there and put out a petition to remove him from Spotify and say that this is the way it should be. Nobody on our side, I'm not even really on a side, but nobody, nobody on the other side of this is stating that you know, we should get rid of, um, well, actually some are now saying Whoopi Goldberg, but that was because of her anti-Semitic comments. Um, but nobody is saying this for Rachel Maddow. Nobody's saying we should deplatform Rachel Maddow, even though she's been wrong all over the place. Nobody's saying this about any of the other conservative hosts, or not conservative, uh, 
several hosts that are out there. You know, I mean, the last one that kind of did, it was Andrew Cuomo, or not Andrew Cuomo, uh, the Cuomo brother. And that was more because he's the Cuomo brother, not because he's, you know, wrong. It's because he's a dick. You know, anyone you want to get rid of on, on the side, it's because they're a dick. Nobody hates Joe Rogan because Joe Rogan is really nice. That's the funny thing about him. People just don't want him because he has people on that they disagree with. Well, that's no reason to get rid of Joe Rogan. You can disagree with the content, not disagree with the man. Why are you disagreeing with the man? The point is, you drew a line in the sand. You attacked your fans, and then you're saying, well, I don't understand. Because you attacked people. You called them trash for disagreeing with you. Don't attack your fans. That's the problem. Why don't people understand this? It's rule number one. Don't go after your fans. You want to go on after an individual for an individual comment? Fine. Go right ahead. But you don't attack your fans as a whole. Ever. Anyway, people, that's all I got for today. Once again, thank you so much for, for watching, for subscribing, for sharing, for liking. Comment below, please. Let me know your thoughts on this. I will see you in the next one.